high intensity training is kind of interesting because I think something gets lost between the proponents, the way they use it from when they explain how they use it to the other people who use it. Mm -hmm. So for me, high intensity or DC training or anything like that, the reason I like it is the clear marker of progress. There's a lot of confusing things. It's hard to tell whether you're getting better in the gym with like DC training, beating the logbook, progressive overload. If I did, if I did 315 for 10 on bench last week, if I repeat the exact same parameters, same rest time, same bench, same weight, and now I do 11 reps, I can be confident that I've progressed. Most people are here and the truth is here. And so people say, well, when I move that direction, I get closer to the truth. And so people always want to just take it all the way. I think the joke I made was like, you know, like if you, all you need is one set of 20 on squats in May and one <laughs> set of, to failure of dips in December, any more than that in your overtraining. Cause they always just try to take it too far. Mm -hmm. You take it as far as it needs it to go. Just because you went that direction and, and, and you were getting better doesn't mean you're always going to get better in that direction.